All right, so thank you for meeting with me. Well, what's your name? Uh, Ursula Mates. Ursula Mates, and what uh, year are you here? I'm a junior now. You're a junior now? Okay, and you've been here your whole uh, college yep. experience? Yep. Cool. Uh, how do you like it here? I like it. It's okay. pretty nice. It's a little cold. Good. Yeah, it is a bit cold. Um, what is your major? I'm a physics major with a minor in chemistry. A physics major with a minor in chemistry. Nice. Wow. So, <laughs> you're, you're pretty smart, I would say. Um, what is your dream job? What are what is this degree going to do for you? Where do you want to use it? Where do you want to apply it? Um, originally, I wanted to teach physics, and then um, I started my education like block, and then I just kind of decided, like, you know what, like this is too much for me to handle right now with like everything that I do with like the sorority and res life. Okay. So I figured, um, I my RHD, her husband is in, or her fiance is a Navy recruiter, a recruiter. So I think I decided that I think after this, I'm going to. Um, enroll or enlist, you know, whatever it is. Either way, uh, join this, yeah. join the Navy as okay. a nuclear propulsion officer. Wow! And then after, go back for my master's in teaching if I still want to do that. Good for you. Wow. Sounds like a nice path, like you're choosing. You know. Hopefully, it'll work out. <laughs> um, if there was any country in the world you could live in, which one would it be? Um, have you visited multiple countries, um, like outside of your study abroad experience, or was that your only outside? Uh... It was my only like. Real one. When I was younger, I would go to Italy, but that okay. was when I was like eight and under, so I don't really remember anything. My mom has like pictures of it. But I'm like... So if you just could think of a place, I mean, you, despite you being there or not, what do you think? Where do you think you would go? Um, I would think somewhere in Europe, probably. Okay. Like. It seems like closely enough related where if I was to just immediately jump right in and move there, then I wouldn't be too overwhelmed. It's a good answer. Um, and it just seems like it's very pretty and like you can travel if like if I was to go to like more of a southern part, I can enjoy more beaches and then like or move more north and see if I want more like mountain cold mm -hmm. type and just kind of like the south. Like here, yeah. yeah. Mountain <laughs> cold. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, pertaining to your study abroad experience, uh, where did you study exactly? Uh, in the city of Accra in Ghana, Africa. Ghana, Africa. Africa. Africa's the country. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> and what would you say the uh, city name was? Accra. Accra. I believe it's A C C R A. A C C R A. Sounds very interesting. Yeah. Um, why did you choose to go there? Uh, was it the program that was offered, um, or like did it have something to do with your major at the time, or your major now? Um. Well, originally, the first study abroad experience that I wanted was Ireland for okay. chemistry. Um, and then I realized that I couldn't study abroad really during the semester. Otherwise, it would, like, throw everything off because I didn't start as a chem or, like, I didn't start as an education major. Mm -hmm. So I was already thrown off a little bit. So I needed to look into summer ones. So I just kind of went on the page and I typed in, like, summer. And then I think I'd put in, like, science major. So at least I would get, like, science credits. Yeah. And then Ghana was open to everyone and... It was only a couple of them, and, like, it said, like, the main language of instruction was English. And, like, oh, okay. I think, I think I just kind of, like, looked at it, and I was like, why not? And I was yeah. like, just go for it. Sometimes and I, that's what you have to do. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to do So, uh, you said that the language was advertised as English. Was there a barrier there, would you say, um, with you and the locals? Or um, was it pretty much you could have big conversations, good conversations, long ones? Um, most people, yes. Uh, there were, like, more uh, rural settings that we would go to where it was a little more difficult because the native language there... Um, uh, I don't know exactly what the official native language is, but okay. a lot of people were speaking um, Twi, like T-W-I. Okay, um, Twi. Uh, and then, like, there's, like, then, like, people at the university were speaking English, but then they would also speak what's called Pidgin, which okay. is, like, a combination of both of them. Uh -huh. um, so it's a little interesting. Um, but, like, it would really only be an issue when we were, like, going to, like, a more rural setting. Like, we went to, like, a monkey sanctuary, and it was a little difficult there. A monkey there. sanctuary. Yeah. All right, hold on. you got to tell me a little bit about that. I mean, that's not one of the questions we had down, <laughs> but you got to tell me a little bit about the monkey sanctuary. Um, it was literally just, like, a forest, and they had, like, a lot of, like, parasitic trees, and they would just, like, grow around and, like, entwine themselves, and the tree on the inside would die. She yeah, would, like, yeah. climb up it. Uh -huh. um, but we just bought all, like, these bananas, and, like, there were just, like, monkeys running around. So, like, I have this picture of, like, a monkey just kind of, like, chilling on my hip. Wow. And, like, one girl... Um, um, she had it like she was holding like um, nuts and it just like came and it sat on her arm and like she had it um, 
she had it like sitting on uh, her hand and it was just sitting there like eating and she like had it like in a video and I was like, oh my God. Um, it was so cool. All right, so um, how was the culture there? Um, with, I mean, would you say it's very different than here? I mean, I guess obviously it's a bit different, but um, things that like they maybe celebrated that you didn't celebrate usually or like um, religious practices that were just evident uh, anything that like stood out to you something very odd to you um it's definitely very religious like we didn't see any celebrations but it's definitely more um like religious oriented um i know one of the locals that like um the girl one girl that came with us she had been there the previous um summer okay. so one of the people she was already friends with we were hanging out with and he was saying how like um between like him and like a couple other people that he like works with um they would like leave and they would go pray like during work mm -hmm. um i'm not really sure what religion they were though yeah. um but then like besides that it was mostly the same people um definitely get like a lot like um like they have less of like a personal like boundary than i would say here um they're definitely not afraid to get close to you yeah. um there was one night um that we had gone out and this one man came up to me and like he was, like, taking pictures with me because I guess, like, seeing some, American, like, yeah, American like somebody, woman there yeah, and he exactly. was, like, taking pictures and he, like, gave me, like, an awkward, like, side hug and then, like, literally, like, licked my face and oh I was, like, God. this is really uncomfortable and, like, my friend was, like, all right, you got to get off of her now and I was, like, leave her alone. Like, he's, like, people don't have boundaries and I'm, like, I can tell. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, you said that you were in Accra and what did, do you know what region exactly that is maybe uh like northern southern did you see a lot of beaches coasts and yeah stuff? um it's called it's like along like what's called um the gold coast okay it's on and the like gold it coast. was um it was like the only thing i really know about it was that it was um part of like the like three-way trade like the three-way like slave trade okay that began Triangle trade, yeah. yeah all right cool um how long was your trip uh Probably should have been one of the initial questions, but how long was that? Uh, you went for how long? It was like a month, give or a take month? a few days. Okay. All right. And I'm sure you enjoyed it. I mean, it sounds yeah. as it's if you... Um, <clears throat> what were the facilities like? Like, uh, were the buildings, like, revamped? I mean, you stood where? Like, in a hotel or...? Um, first, we were at... We were on, like, the university the whole time, the University okay. of Ghana, and... Um, First, we were at, like, this guest center that was definitely a lot nicer, and then we moved into, like, the residence halls there once, like, international students had left. Mm -hmm. um, then it was definitely a big change um, going from one place to the other. Yeah. Because, um, like, it was meant more for, like, faculty and guests to be at the other ones, so, like, the bathrooms were nicer. Like, they had bigger beds, like, and then we moved into, like, a smaller room that had, like, the shared bathroom, which was only cold water. Um, wow, only cold water. Yeah, which it was, it worked out nicely though because it was really hot because like there was only like a ceiling fan okay. in the room, so it it wasn't as bad as it seems. And then like even at night it was really humid, so like showering whatever time of day was it was fine. Yeah, because to us you hear only cold water and like as yeah. an American it's like <laughs> you just have a crazy reaction to it. Um, so how large was the group that you went with? Would you say we went had like. Uh, it was tiny. You there, were said. Only, there were only six of us. Six of you. I wow. think the summer before, I think they had like f 16 or 15. Wow. And um, it was all, it was really because um, normally Dr. Asuma, the professor that runs it, he'll spend the semester kind of trying to like recruit people from his class. Uh -huh. But he's, um, I think the term is adjunct professor okay. at the University of Ghana. So he was teaching there in the spring semester. And then we went and he met us at the airport. Oh, so it was Dr. Asuma that took the trip. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've only heard about him but i see his name all over the place he's yeah. pretty involved all over he's the everywhere. place i'm pretty sure um did you go with any friends or did you just go by yourself and then seem to find people there or like along the trip um well when i signed up for it it was really like i'm going on my own and like yeah, my mom didn't like... believe me and then um <laughs> we all kind of we made it a thing to kind of like hang out a couple times before okay because we were going to be in like a completely different country and, and like, living together you know and, yeah. yeah and it definitely it definitely helped us um and i mean it was kind of strange at first trying because when we went there we only seen each other maybe like three times uh -huh. um so i mean like getting there initially was a little like kind of weird but then it was really like we need to 
be closer with one another because there's no one around that we know. Mm-hmm. We ended up meeting kids from like SUNY Geneseo, but oh really? Yeah, it was interesting. Uh, so um, I don't know if I've asked this. So like, what exactly did you do? Did you take courses or did you um, maybe like help or educate? Um, it was a little bit more like submersion in the culture rather than like lectures we had like six or seven lectures Mm -hmm. but then most of it was more like getting the experience so like traveling to like different marketplaces we went to like the mall there we experienced like the nightlife all together Mm -hmm. um nightlife that's always fun yeah uh we uh went to just like different tourist attractions and um really just did a lot more like cultural subversion than it was like more than like lecture Uh based um, which was definitely, it was definitely nice to do. So did you think that was more effective than just sitting and being lectured? Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah, because we even, we were all talking at the beginning of it, and, like, their public transportation is, like, kind of like a little, like, van type thing that usually sits, like, 14 people. It's called, like, a Trotro, okay. and it'll, like, drive you around. But, like, for a while, we had, like, one of those, like, short little mini buses, and we all, like, just agreed that, like, by, like, the middle of it, we're, like, we're so sheltered. Like, we want to, like, really experience it. Like, we've been going around, and we've been, like, seeing things, but, like, yeah. people tell it's, like, you're not from here. It's, like, besides the fact that we're all American, like, mm-hmm. but it was, it was not, like, the exact experience that we all wanted, because we wanted to, like, really, like, be venture. submerged and mm-hmm. venture around. Interesting, interesting. Um, I'm going to shift a little bit of gears. Um, now I'm going to talk about like more of the food and the culture also. Um, so if initially, I'm going to ask, uh, how many meals a day did you eat, would you say? Just normal three meals or something? Um, yeah, okay. usually it was three. Sometimes it was two, but usually three, and breakfast was always a little smaller. Uh-huh. Um, so how was the cuisine in your eyes? Um, it was definitely different. It was a lot, uh, for the most part, like, fruit-wise, it was a lot more natural. Okay. Um, like, the watermelon was really, really sweet, um, and then everything was just very, very simple. Okay. So, like, instead of having, like, here you have, like, some elaborate way of making eggs, they would just put eggs. Just like, egg, everything just... was just really simple. It was, it was definitely very different to have, but, like, it was just very plain, and it was all really good. So yeah. it's not like it was bad tasting or anything was, like, just gross. Like, it, it tasted good, so mm-hmm. it was nice. Uh, I wanted to ask if there were any elements of, like, Western influence. So, like, could you go somewhere and see maybe, like, a fast food joint or, like, maybe a place that would serve, like, American-type style food, like a chicken tender or, like, a hamburger? Like, were there places that definitely had been influenced? Um, I don't remember seeing anything, like, chain-specific. Okay. But... There was anywhere that we would go if they had, like, they did have a hot dog, I remember, on one menu. Interesting. Um, but usually when you try to order it, they didn't have it. Oh. So it, it would be there. So, like, I remember one day we were at one of the beaches. It was one of the more private ones. Yeah. And um, I w- one of the girls went to order a hot dog. And they're like, no, I'm sorry, we don't have that. She's like, okay, can I order this salad? And they're like, no, we don't have no. any of that. <laughs> it's like, we don't have anything that goes with that. She's like, okay, can I have rice? Yeah. And they're like, yes, you of can. Of course you could have that because, we, of course, we have rice. We always, every single meal, there was always rice. So every meal had rice. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, that's Some type of basically rice. how it is in, like, my household. I mean, like, we, <laughs> that's Spanish people. Um, so what would you say was, like, the most dominant aspect of the food like would you say like it was very spicy was there things that were like sour or so you would say spicy definitely yeah definitely on the spicier side so like chilies peppers and like a lot of spices in that sense yeah that's good that's good um did you try any bizarre or odd type foods anything that you didn't think you could really get your hands on here or was there just generally like safe uh choices Generally safe choices. I don't remember anything too out there, really. Mm-hmm. Um, it was really just different types of, like, flavors that I've never had. Like, it was nothing like, oh, like, oh, we did we did have the chance to eat alligator. Oh, alligator. Okay. Yeah, but I had just pet good. it, so I didn't want to eat it. I was like, no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <was like>, <laughs> no, yeah, um, alligator is definitely uh, up there on my Yeah, that was, the, that was the like. one... The one like out there thing kind mm-hmm. of that mm-hmm. I remember. Okay. Um, <clears throat> everything else was more just like a different type of like spice that there was. Like it'd be, I don't remember any of the names really, but it would just be like 
this certain spice, and it's like I've never had that. Let's yeah, try it. like a spice scheme almost, like they use on different things. Yeah. Um. So, were there any beverages that were on? Was there anything like besides? I mean, I mean, obviously you're drinking water and stuff with juices, maybe, but like anything that really stood out, like any maybe alcoholic beverages that they have that are like uh, in their culture, things that they've had forever. Um. Not that I can remember as far as alcoholic. There was one. Um, we had gone to one of the locals' houses, a couple of us, and yeah. we ordered pizza, and they had this strawberry milk. Straw? I love strawberry milk. Okay. I, I love it so much, yeah. and I don't... I tried to find it, because we had gone to a grocery store after that, and I tried to find it, and I had it. It was, like, maybe within, like, the first two weeks, and then I kept trying to find it every single time we went to, like, the mall area or, like, went to, like, near a grocery store. Like, yep, I kept yep, trying yep. to find it, and I never could. Wow. And, like, I thought I found it at one point, and then I drank the thing I found. It tasted like chalk. Oh. And I, like, the whole trip, I was like, I just want to find this. And I, I never did again. It was so wow. sad. That was, like, my one left out on the trip. Like, oh, I man. didn't just get not, to find couldn't it. find the tra- uh, strawberry milk. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I, I hope that one day you <laughs> go find a nice bottle of... Uh, strawberry milk um how would you say the restaurant settings were were there a lot of restaurants or was it just um like mostly home cooked like you said you stood with local uh, or went to a local's home for one for a couple times yeah um i would say it's probably more home-based when we ate we primarily ate um at this one spot on campus that was like it was with the guest center so we would get like we'd either walk or we'd get like a little bus transportation to it um so we mostly ate there there were a couple of times when we ate out but like there weren't many people there when every time we went so i want to say that it's really not that common to eat out but i'm not because okay. usually with the way that the culture structured it's a lot like the man goes to work he comes home and the wife has dinner waiting for him yeah. usually yeah um so I, I would assume that it's probably more like home base, not a lot of restaurants. Okay, that's good. Um, we're gonna shift gears, start to wrap up. Um, how did this help you? And just reflect a little bit on what you've learned. Well, if there was one thing you took away from the trip, what was it? Um. Okay. Um. <clears throat> how did this trip help you? And um, reflect on what you learned. If there was one thing that really changed you about the trip or something that changed about you when you got back here after the trip what exactly was it if you could pin one thing um i mean i think overall it definitely helped me grow as a person Mm -hmm. i think and also kind of like grow up a little bit because like i did have like an international plan on my phone but like i could only text my mom when i was like on wi-fi yeah um so i mean like i couldn't always like talk to her and like it, i think it, it was worse for her having to like be distant from me oh of course um but i mean like there were like situations like i had to go to the hospital while i was there and like i couldn't talk to my mom wow. like while i was there because i just couldn't reach her um so Good. like i was just like in a hospital in a different country and just like oh. that was would, interesting but like would, um, would you want to elaborate a little bit on that experience in the hospital Sure. Um, sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, always. Uh, well, it was kind of uh, interesting because like their healthcare is a little bit different. Because of course, um, it's it was almost like like the structure of the hospital is almost like a motel okay. where it's like you enter like this like kind of waiting area. It's like a it's like a larger like building, and then you like kind of go back into like a like bigger area where you would like walk to different rooms, which is like the waiting area for various doctors. So like instead okay. of having like separate places, like they're yeah. all in one place and then it's like if they need if they're just like okay you need to have like surgery you just kind of go to like the next building and it's like right like a couple rooms down so like i would like i was sitting there and i was waiting and then like you just see like the signs like overhead and it was like obstetrician like uh i don't actually know uh pediatrician like all all of them whatever it is um and like they just be one room next to another next to another Um, interesting it it was definitely very interesting and then like i had to have surgery and then they just kind of carted me down like the hall and I was like, and operating room. <laughs> it's like right oh there. Wow. And then I had, you know what? There was a chain place. I had KFC later. You did have KFC. I had All KFC. Right. That's Going back to a question. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so it changed you in a way where you grew up and you were saying you had something about an international plan. Elaborate a bit on that. Like, was that just a plan that, oh, 
international plan based on like yeah, 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 like the phone. Speed. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I um, thought you meant that maybe like uh, you had multiple places you wanted to go to. Like I planned to go here. I planned to go there. Oh no, 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 sorry. Okay, no, no, it's fine. I, <laughs> um, I misunderstood. Yeah, and, and like um. I think, like, when you said, like, one one thing, kind of, like, like to pinpoint one thing, uh-huh. I would think, like, as, as cheesy as it sounds, it kind of just, gave, like, opened up my, like, eyes, kind of, and gave me, like, a perspective on, like, different things. So, like, yeah. there, were th- there are things now that I look at that when people say something, and I'm kind of, like, I used to just kind of be like, this is a little uncomfortable, but now it's like, no, don't do that. Like, like, there are certain, like, I don't know, like, I can't think of anything, like, off the top of my head, but, like, there's just certain things where it's, like, don't do that. Yeah. And now, it, like, seeing it from, like, a different perspective is just more, like, it just becomes more prominent now for me. Yeah, I definitely feel that here, like, we have things that we're accustomed to. And, like, when Hi. you went abroad, I guess, <laughs> that must have changed them up, you know? It might have changed the things you're accustomed to. Yeah. Um, last question, the wrap-up. Uh, would you go back, and why? I think I would. I would okay. have to... I don't know if I would necessarily go back with the same people, maybe okay. not the same entire group, because we did have little, like, internal problems, uh-huh. though, I mean, it was expected, um, but I think, I think at the very least, there are, there are three people, like, three of the, the six of us I would go back with. Okay. And, uh, would you lengthen your trip, shorten your trip, uh, keep it right about the same, like, a month was just the right amount of time for you, or would you feel maybe, like, two weeks would suit better, or more time? Um, I think keeping it structured the way that it was, like how we had, like we did have like a lecture go to, like we had scheduled meal times, like things like that. Mm -hmm. I would have made it longer. Okay. But being that like going back wouldn't be with a study abroad like program. I think, I think it would be about like a good amount of time because there were definitely some things that like we were looking to do. I feel like I remember us saying that we never got a chance to. Uh So I think. But I think if we hadn't had, like, the lectures that we had to go through, like, the tour of campus, like, things like that, I think uh-huh. we would have been able to do them. All right. Sounds good. And uh, thank you for your time. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate it. And thanks for meeting with me. And you have a good one. You too.